Thank you yeah. so much. We love you for always posting us and showing some love. Yes, and, you we know. see it. We see it all. Yes. It really means the world to us. Um, I'm like, keep on supporting because yeah. yeah. we're going to keep on reposting you. Yeah, <laughs> we know who you were. We got to get these votes in. So let's get it. Let's do it keep together. showing love. Yeah. Thank you. Um, how do you guys feel about your performance today? It was oh amazing. God, amazing. Yeah, it was great. I think we're so confident and we had so much fun and it was like, you know, we just felt the music in our bodies and we just had to let go, you know? You're the newest one of the members of the team, yeah. right? How yeah. do you feel that you, they chose you to be in the um, I think it's a blessing. I love these girls and for me to be in this position, I went from little rap videos to, I mean, being on national television with my girls, so I couldn't ask for a better, uh, you know, place to be. And um, do y'all guys think you're going to make it tomorrow? You got a party planned out? A party planned out tomorrow? Yes. Oh my god, we're gonna just keep working hard. We need to get these votes in, so we're yeah. gonna be promoting. We're gonna be hustling. Yeah, it's and definitely all the hard work. And, and we're definitely um, gonna sleep too. Oh my we god, it's 4 a.m., so we're <laughs> yeah. like, we're ready to. Tired. I go be that night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have y'all been getting a lot of support from California or the. Yeah. Mainly from California, right? Yeah. yeah. Are, at least yeah. from the whole country. All over. So yeah. really Everywhere, good. honestly. That's what's great. Yeah, that's what's great about this competition is that. Before our fan base is mainly in California, Los Angeles area, but now we're like nationwide, which is, I mean, you couldn't ask for any better. Even like worldwide now, we have a lot of Eurovision fans are now kind of watching American yeah. Song Contest and supporting yeah. us. So it just means the world to us that we're able to break these barriers and just kind of meet a whole new audience. Mm -hmm. And also yeah. have fun with it, you know? Exactly, yes. Yeah. How do you feel that you're representing your home state? Oh, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Um, I've had so much support from Texas and um, a lot of friends there that are just, you know, so excited and family members so it feels really good i have a lot of friends that are all voting for you for sure sick i awesome. think you're doing a good job representing texas for thank sure thank you so much what is your experience as far as being in the competition how has it been um yep. it's it's kind of a mix of emotions it's crazy because there's like a lot going on and like you know performing and getting ready for the week and the week just kind of <laughs> goes by really quick so like nervous excited a little bit of stress but then also like you know, getting to hang out with all the other contestants and the yeah. friends really. Um, it's it's been a whirlwind, but it's really awesome. It's great. During the next week before mm -hmm. they announce the winners, mm -hmm. what do you what will you be doing? This next week, honestly, voting closes tomorrow morning, so I'm just gonna chill out this whole week. I'm gonna, you know, it depends. Hopefully, if I make it through, I'm. I'm hopefully, if I make it through, I'm rehearsing for next week. So. Oh, awesome. So they're so they're gonna tell you ahead of time. I think they said that the voting will be. Um, the results will be announced on Wednesday. Oh, okay, great, so great, great. Hopefully, we're so, in that. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you sung Mr. Independent, and yeah. then Kelly Clarkson did Mrs. Independent. Do you think totally. that's representation of Texas? Totally. Yeah. Totally. Right? Totally. We're both from Texas, both independents. So yeah. Do you know how many times Texas became an independent country? How many times? Yeah. Isn't it one? Six times. Six times. That's why Six Flags is named after Texas. Oh. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. Trivia. Dang, he's he's he needs to say a little more. Now I know. I feel like <laughs> I feel like a bad Texan. <laughs> yes, for sure, it's for sure. Yeah. Um, can you also um, if you wasn't in the competition today, mm -hmm. who would you be voting for? Who would I be voting Which for? Which song do you like the best? Oh, I was very very happy that Nico went through. I love yes. Nico. So I love Nico. So too. sweet. They're so awesome. Have you been um, to Alabama? Have I been to Alabama? I think I have. I've been to 40, 48 states. 48 states. Yeah. Which two states have you not been I to? I think it's Wyoming and Montana, maybe? Montana, I think it's Montana. Maybe? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's those two. Yeah. During your time here, who did you get the closest to out of all the competitors? Oh, um, I definitely got, like, on my week, I got really close to Nico okay. um, and Brooke Alex. Um, this week, honestly, it's been so great because I've had so much time with everybody. Um, and also Riker, I got really close with the last episode. Yes. Tyler Braden's awesome. But yes. like this week, like Chloe, um, Sweet Taboo is amazing. Yes. Roderick, um, Stella, every, everyone's really amazing. I mean, really okay. cool. Yeah, you can't choose it. Right? Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to choose. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for the interview. Yeah. Are you planning to visit Greece anytime soon? Am I, pla I would love to. That would be incredible. Please. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to Europe while you are here? Uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Um, there's been so many Eurovision fans and you know people that aren't from America that are giving so much support. It really means so much to me. Um, so I love you guys so much. Hopefully I get to come tour over there or something like that and meet all you guys soon. So yeah, thank you so much. You did great. Thank you so much. How, how do you feel like you did today? I feel like I did great. Yeah, I'm so like amped up on my performance still and my friends and family were in my little booth. 
my fans have been going crazy on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty stoked right now. Your song is very catchy. I still got the DIY stuck in my head. <laughs> it's a really good song. <laughs> Thank you. How did I'm, you How did you come up with that? Yeah, I mean, I the title came to me first because I had like went through this relationship that just wasn't really great, and I was being pretty disrespected and mistreated in it. Um, and one night I was sitting at my piano and the song title DIY popped in my head because I was thinking about all the things I did for this person and how I was getting nothing in return. Yes. Um, and I was like, why don't you just do it yourself? And then I was like, DIY? How is no one like, I don't know. And the rest of the song kind of came from there. I wrote it on the piano in like an hour and a half and then brought it to my producers like the next day and we just nice. kind of went from there. Nice. Yeah. Did, did, since you've been on the ASA, ASC, have you, did the boyfriend contact you again? No, he's, he's blocked on everything. <laughs> I don't know. Block him all, right? Know. Block him all. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel that you were the top of the day, of the night? Man, it feels amazing because, like I've said a million times, is there's so much talent in this show. And, like, the first round, I, we all felt like our episode was the best of the first round. You're always biased. Yes. And in the semifinals, <laughs> I feel like our episode was the best semifinal episode. And to come out on top, according to the jury anyways amongst all this talent is just a huge stamp of approval on what I do as a songwriter so it's been amazing but we know how you did today because you won obviously yeah. do you feel like you could have done better you always can do better and that's how you got to look at it going round and round because we play the same song and every time you're on stage you feel like you gave everything you had until there's an opportunity to give more and you always find a way so I can always do better yeah. I'm so sorry that you cannot rest like the rest of the then we can because you have now th start thinking about the next step what are you thinking about what to change on the stage next time you go up there so we haven't done a whole lot of changes visually from round to round because the whole point of the contest is that the song is champion the song is king and I want the song to be the message and not the um, appearance of the live show. I mean, we're making it look like my actual live show is like kind of a band appearance, and every time I play shows, it's kind of a rock influence, and it's a big band. And But the song itself should be the most important message, so we're go not going to do too many crazy changes, I don't believe. You're the only one that said that. Really? Yeah. Everybody else is changing the background, the scenes, some, some of that. I mean, there will be some visual changes, but that's to me, that's not what's important. I mean, this round we added a little bit of pyro and little sparks, and yeah. but that's not what's important here in this contest. So I, I mean, think you got the Eurovision um, spirit inside you. I appreciate it. I hope so. <laughs> amazing. You know, I feel amazing. I feel happy. I feel like you changed your performance a lot since the pre previous one. I think it was so much better this time. Why? What? Next time when you win the fi fi not final, uh -huh. how are you going to change it? Well, let's see. You know, I, I, I've been surrounded with some amazing team that helped me to put in all the brainstorming, that idea on stage. So, yeah, I, I, I love that you, that you tell me that, you know, because I'm just trying to bring joy on stage, different things on stage happening. So having that feedback is just going to feel happy. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to bring my flag to the final and hopefully that happens very soon. Are you already in your head thinking about what to do next? Yes, I'm thinking in a few things, you know, and let's see what happens. You know, I have an amazing team. Sometimes I have a crazy idea in my mind. Let's see what if we can make it true. Oh okay. gosh. You have been DMing me so much, and I feel so bad that I have not done an interview with you yet. No worries, but to try, it's yes, going to be an amazing yes. opportunity, because Foti is uh, it's doing a great job with Europe and Eurovision, and it is nice we reached you here, and thank you so much. No problem. How do you feel? I feel great. How was the day today? My day was great. Uh, I got to meet some great people. I got to hang with, you know, Alan Stone. Me and Ryan Charles are, that's my boy. Love him to death. And everybody else on the show is, is just amazing, so... I feel like I got to meet some amazing friends over over everything, to be honest. And how it is to work with Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson? Oh, Snoop's a man. I just seen him uh, not too long ago. They're awesome. We wish you very and good Kelly, luck. Kelly's awesome, too. I love Kelly, too. And Kelly, happy birthday. You're amazing, and thank you for just being great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It was great. Um, you know, I think this performance was definitely less um, stressful for me I guess because you know t television is new for me I haven't really performed on TV at all and so getting used to the camera movements and all that we've gotten to do a lot of rehearsals so I was very comfortable tonight to be able to perform my best so it was awesome that was a very nice experience something yeah. new something uh, great mm -hmm. and uh, how you feel uh, for from that, uh, like uh, your next steps, uh, you're gonna continue t TV or you're gonna doing another 
similar contest. Yeah, I would love to, you know, hopefully down the road we'll get to do some TV again. Um, I'm hoping that I'm here another week uh, for, sure. for the show. We'll see. The results are coming out to, on Wednesday, correct? Yes. What they told you? They, 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 should tell, they should tell on Wednesday, I believe. Really? Yeah, because um, the winner is going to be Oh my gosh. So yes, it might be you. It might be me. I Hopefully it's I mean, me. You were up the top TV. for yeah, yeah. a long time. But honestly, I don't think that matters. I think because jury picks one and then America picks the rest. So I'm going to pick you. you don't, know, I like this guy. Don't I like this guy already <laughs> right here. How do you think you did today as far as um, the performance? Um, I felt good. Did good. Uh, my mom came and watched me. Um, she hasn't seen me perform before, so that was really good. So oh, I'm pretty hyped. Were you nervous? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous. Not from your mom? N not from my mom. <laughs> I, yeah, you're not from my mom. That's good. Kansas sticks with your mom all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we to keep mom around. So, exactly. mom. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one that's motivating people. Oh, thank you. So, I just, I try. Yes. I do my best. That's all. That's all we can do. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about your performance today? Oh, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. You know, when I have my dad in the stands always with his hands up and going crazy, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing okay, you know, and I could see my dad's eyes watering from the stage, you know, and, you know, just, um, I felt good. I felt a lot of emotions, you know, the material that I have is very, um, very symbolic Polynesian material. This is called a fala, and which this fala is the exact fala that was laid underneath the caskets of my loved ones. This is called tapa, Samoan pattern tapa, which in which Tapa is gifted to to people and uh, as a sign of respect, you know? Yes. And so I just uh, pray that everyone just just was able to relate to my set and just yes. feel a speck of, if, if it was a speck of hope or faith or love or just they, like, oh, she made me feel happy, you know? That's all I wanted. If that's what happened, Look, I got chills right now. But if that's what happened, that's all that matters. Yes, yes I actually listened to your song in the car, and that does make me feel a little emotional. Oh, yeah, does it? Yes, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, a little, just a little bit. Just, just a little, little bit. bit just I'm, a little bit. Because I'm from Texas. You know? uh, we, uh, feel, uh, no, we feel nothing. Y'all feel nothing. <laughs> Y'all feel nothing. Exactly, nothing. <laughs> so, tell me, what did you learn from going to this experience with the American Song Contest? Oh, man, that I'm made for this. That's what I learned. You are made for this. That I'm made for this. I knew I was made for this. It just was a time and a place, a God ordained time. You know, God ordains my time. You know, I, I am very faith based, and um, I do know that I work really, really hard um, to work intentionally with everything that I do. And so, yeah, it's just this an song. honor to be here. This song is. Is, is everything that I am. It had a, it's very intentional. Very, very sure. intentional, yes. yes. And your stage presentation is very intentional. This is intentional. Yes. It's amazing. Everything's <laughs> intentional. You have to be intentional. I love to walk into rooms where I, where my presence, it, it demands attention, you know, where I could be like, hey, how are you? You know what I mean? I, I love the interaction of people. You know, I hate COVID. <laughs> you know, I hate that COVID, like, literally just broke everybody's actual, you know, interaction it just yes. it just yes. was so crazy you know it was, and so yeah so this song was created for all of those that we lost lost in covid the ones that we lost before us you know the my brother my cousin that got cheesy you know was, and so yeah so this song was created for all of those that we lost lost in covid the ones that we lost before us you know the my brother my cousin that got shot a couple months ago a couple years ago my uncle that i just buried last week like mm. uncle drew to Asasopo, like these all of these things that i that i sang about is, is just all it's just meant for people to relate Yes, but you, you brought race. it. You brought it. You brought the emotions for thank sure. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so you. sorry about your uncle and everybody thank else you, you lost. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so you. sorry. But um, you brought it. I think you, yeah. did, you did really good. You motivated people. You got gave people's emotions. Yeah, it's meant up. to relate to any nationality, any race, any religion. That's just that's what I intended for it to yes. do. And for the song, full circle. Full circle. Um, why did you call it full circle? Uh, yeah. because life is a full circle. Like you know, sometimes. A lot of us, like myself, I speak on behalf of myself, like, you know, we're in a bad space, but the full circle comes when love sits in. You know, the full circle comes when reality sits in or kind of when, you, when yourself, you just sit in, you know? You, and it's the full circle when you get back to happy, then you realize you don't want to be that sad anymore. So then you learn something new. Yes. You know, you learn your ways. It's, it's, it's all learned, it's, everything is learning. 
You know, it's the waves that we carry. It's the vibrations that we give. It's the energy that we give people. And so, you know, knowing that, you know, and once upon a time I was very depressed in my life, you know, and so um, coming from a state of depression and knowing that before that, I didn't know what that means, you know, but now I know what depression is. So now I'm able to relate to people that are depressed. You know what I mean? I didn't. I never was heartbroken before because I never had a boyfriend. Then when I had a boyfriend, then I was heartbroken. Now I'm related. I now I'm able to relate to women that are heartbroken. So you don't know what other people are going through until you go through them. And so that's what the full circle is: is that all of us are going through things every single day. Yes. And it's not. It's not for us to judge. It's just for us to love. And so that's what the full circle. It's good. Thank you. It's very good. I feel like a pastor right now. <laughs> It's your next stage in life. Hey, it just hey, might be. Hey, come on now. It's going to be the, the, um, the Tanel Church. You got it. <laughs> full Circle Church. Yeah, full, <laughs> it's great. full Circle Church. <laughs> and you have, a, you have a store too, 10 by 10, right? Yes, I have a clothing line. It's called 10 by 10 Clothing, yes. Is there a website we can access? Yes, it? it's at 10 times 10 clothingcom Is it for girls or for everybody? It's for everybody. Great. Yeah, yeah. It's more <laughs> statement pieces, you know, like bulletproof, on a mission, you know. Can we buy something like this? Um, not really, but you can buy this from Afa Alu, which is my brother who made this awesome outfit and ensemble in 10 hours. Yeah, 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he made this hairpiece, the selu. This oh, is so, called, this so is this called is, a selu. So he did, almost designed your outfit. Did he design he did everything, too? Yes. the dress too? Dress too. Oh, that's good. All material. You're everything promoting. was material. That's good. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he was on Project Runway. He flew down here with intention for me to be clothed yes. and walk on stage. Well, I hope you win. I hope I do too. Because your song is really good. <laughs> Thank you. And I listen to it. So Thank I hope you, you win. Thank